Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Lisa and I am in my very first bodybuilding prep. And I actually recorded a full workout, not just my top sets, and I was actually editing it and realized that I had no intro and no outro. So wanted to record that real quick. This is one of my longer upper days that I do on Saturdays and I will kind of walk you through um, what I'm doing. Okay, so after I warm up, I start out with pull-ups as my complex movement. I usually do the complex movements first as those require the most amount of energy. So um, yes, I can do strict pull-ups, but for my purposes here, I use the pull-up machine. That way I can really work on squeezing the lats and really having slow and controlled movement. Whereas when I do strict, I have to sort of engage a few other muscle groups and that's not the plan here. So my very first two sets, I do four to six reps. Um, I started with 30 pound assist and went down to 25 pound assist. With this one, the less weight you have, the more you are doing of your actual pulley. Then after the first two sets, I actually will increase the amount of assistance I'm getting, but I will do eight to 10 reps. And I believe I did 10 reps in my last set here. So again, I want to focus on really engaging those lat muscles, being slow and controlled, and just feeling that mind-muscle connection. You can see it when you look out your window or when you turn on your television. You can feel it when you go to work. Next up, I have the dumbbell row. So I will do two to three sets of these, and I usually do three, I don't ever do the minimum, and then it's supposed to be eight to 10 reps. So I was doing 60s for these, and I did all three sets at 10 reps, which means next time I gotta go up and wait. Notice that for me, I actually brace myself and do the stagger stance. That way I can really get a full stretch of that lat and that pull back toward my hip. It's very important to sort of pull back toward your hip and think pull to your hip versus elbow up because elbow up means you're using more arm instead of your lat. So like I said, I do three sets of these at 10 reps and it's gonna be time to increase the weight next time. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. What truth? that you are a slave. All right, so the third movement I have is the dumbbell overhead press. And similar to my pull-ups, how we have this programmed is I do two sets at four to six reps, and then I do a third set at eight to 10 reps at a lower weight. So my first set, I did six reps at 40 pounds. Um, oh, I'm sorry, my first two sets I did 40 pounds. The first set I did six, the second set I only did five. You're gonna see me fail and failing is okay. That means you have pushed it to your failure. Um, but I was still in that four to six rep range, so all good there. And then my third set, I went down to 30 pound dumbbells and I knocked out 10 of those.
All right, next movement, I had my seated side lateral raises. This was three sets at 10 to 15, but then a drop set after the third one. So I'll explain that in a minute. So I started with 25 pounds for my three sets. So I did 25 pounds at 15 reps. You will see that as I get closer to that 15, they were probably partial reps at that point, but I really wanted to push through that heavier weight since the 20s were a little bit too easy the week before. Um, on the third set though, as soon as I finished that 15th one, I dropped down to a 12 pound dumbbell and then I repped out um, to failure on those. So I dropped to 12 pounds on the dumbbells and did 15 of those to failure. I then moved into the machine rear delt fly, and this was another one where I did a drop set. So I did three sets. It was programmed as two to three sets of 10 to 15 reps. Obviously I went for the three sets because I do the things. So I did three sets at 45 pounds at 15 reps. Then at the very end of my third set, I immediately dropped it to 25 pounds and then repped it out for another 10. And this sucker burned. It was worth it though. Okay, and then I moved into incline dumbbell bench. This one I actually only have two sets programmed. First set I do four to six reps, second set I do eight to 10 reps. So this first set I used the 40 pound dumbbells and did my best to try to get to six reps. Then in the second set I dropped to the 35 pound dumbbells and knocked out 10 of those reps. So then to finish off this upper workout, I then did tricep extensions. So I did three sets of these programmed for eight to 10 reps. I did 30 pound dumbbells times 10 reps and I did another drop set program. So at the very end of my third set, I then dropped it down to the 20, 20 pound dumbbell and repped it out for eight more reps again. These suckers burned. I alternated that with a superset of dumbbell curls, three sets times eight to 10 reps. I did them at 25 pound dumbbells for 15, I'm sorry, 25 dumbbells 
for 10 reps, then I dropped to 15 pound dumbbells and repped out 15 there. These are some nice burners to kind of just, you know, get a nice pump at the end of that and push that muscle to its limit. Okay, so that was my upper day. Hopefully it didn't bore you too much because it was like in real time, but I tried to put some music in there and explain some things. Um, but if you notice, you know, there was a big focus on slow and controlled reps when I was able and, you know, trying to push myself to the top of the rep range um, because then once I reach the top of the rep range, then next time I know I can increase my weight and that's how you progressively overload so that you're not just staying stagnant. Um, the other thing you will notice is the intensity. Like I was pushing it. I was making the ugly faces. I failed reps, but like that you have to push yourself with intensity. And yeah, absolutely. There's a time and a place for deload and stuff like that. Um, but when you're trying to build muscle, when you're trying to do, you know, get yourself to another level, you have to push yourself what doesn't challenge you doesn't change you and pushing yourself in the workouts sometimes is the game you could be doing all the right things but if you're not working with the right intensity those workouts are not you're not getting the 100 percent full effect so like why bother if you're going to do them do them
So anyway, that's my message on that. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if there's any other um, topics or anything you want to cover. I do have another upper day and another lower day that I do during the week that I haven't recorded at any point, mostly because I do those on weekdays when I'm kind of in a time crunch. And right now my workouts are taking a little bit longer because I need a little bit more rest between sets so I can maintain the same volume and load that I've been doing. So it's been a little bit harder to record those, but if I have an opportunity to do it where, you know, maybe when my kids are on spring break coming up, I'll try to record those as well, just because they're a little bit different. All right. If you've made it this far, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, recommend this to your friends. Let's get some more subscribers on this channel. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Check in with you soon.